The British Rail Class 13 is one of the most unusual and fascinating locomotives ever to work on Britain's railways. Designed in the 1960s specifically for heavy-duty shunting work, the Class 13 wasn't just one locomotive, it was two. In 1965, British Rail faced a challenge at Tinsley Marshalling Yard near Sheffield. The yard was designed for hump shunting, a method where wagons were pushed over a small hill, or hump, and then rolled down into sorting sidings, but a single large shunter would risk grounding itself on the hump. The solution? Pair up two smaller shunters and make them work as one. And so the Class 13 was born, formed by permanently coupling together two Class 08 diesel shunters. One was designated the master and kept its cab, while the other became the slave, with its cab removed to improve visibility. They were linked by multiple unit controls so that both units could be operated from the master cab. To improve traction, both units were ballasted, giving the Class 13 a massive tractive effort of around 70,000 pounds force, much higher than a single Class 08. This power was ideal for pushing long rakes of wagons up the hump at Tinsley. Only three of these beasts were ever created, numbered 13,001 to 13,003 under the top system. They never strayed far from their home yard, and all three spent their entire working lives at Tinsley. But by the early 1980s, hump shunting was on the decline, and so too was the need for such a specialist locomotive. The Class 13s were withdrawn between 1981 and 1986, and, sadly, all were scrapped. Not one example was preserved. Despite their short service lives and limited numbers, the Class 13s remain a favourite among railway enthusiasts, an ingenious solution to a very specific problem and a true oddity in British railway history. If you enjoyed this look at one of British Rail's most unique shunters, don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more fascinating railway stories. Thanks for watching.